Welcome back, welcome back. It's a Tistic Tuesday. Super excited. Is it the last day of the month? How much tomorrow? It's tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, guys, so tomorrow, so this is the last Tuesday of this month, super excited about that as well. That means payday, that means new months, new beginnings, new great things. And on this show today, it is, it is Inspiration Artistic Tuesday. <laughs> great stories here, great talent. Uh, we have Frank on the other side, and right now it's about spoken art. And we've got two amazing artists, Irauka, I hope I said that right. Yes, yes, And indeed. Ivan the Poet. Karibu Nisana. Thank you. Mkoredi. Yeah, yeah. Today we're having fun. <laughs> There's no battle. We're not going head to head. We're having a good time. So far, so good. Did you like the band? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you really Maybe you should just join them for one of these amazing things <laughs> they do every day. Oh, oh, yeah. I love yeah, a yeah. microphone, Nihapa. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 yeah, so, okay. I'm going to let you guys go perform your first pieces, then I'll be back, then we can talk some more. Is okay, that okay? Cool. cool. Good. All right. Um, this one's called Real. Uh, let's quit talking about romance for a minute. That sweet love, corny display skit, we overdo it. Let's not focus on honeymoon phases and material gifts, but let's talk on what it really is to be in a relationship. Let's talk about days when things aren't so rosy, but we still know I love you and you love me. Let's be real with our fears and insecurities. Know that I trust you and you trust me. See, this thing we started isn't only about our feelings, but more about our choices, trying to understand one another and canceling out outside noises, deciding to love each other, stick together even on days when we don't feel it's worth it. I want to know if with you I can be completely honest. See, you're my greatest strength, but I want you to see me at my weakest to know whether you can handle this thing between us, make it last beyond whenever lust leaves us. I want to know your deepest secrets so that you know you can trust me to keep them. Let's share our most embarrassing moments, laugh at each other for a bit, and understand there'll be times when our brains refuse to function and we'll call each other hopeless. Sure, we can have deep kisses and secret handshakes, but let's get comfortable with the face palms and head shakes. Know that we are beautifully flawed Yet, whenever we see each other, our faces light up in awe. Tell me your greatest regret, I'll tell you mine. Trust me to make you forget you ever had any in time. Let's get crazy, ridiculously mad at each other. And then resolve our differences in a calm, grown-up manner. Because, see, I want to spend the rest of my days with you. The good ones, and especially the bad. The deliriously happy ones, and the depressingly sad. Because I don't just want someone to share my bed. I want to love her, a partner, and a best friend. Lost. Pilot, preacher, athlete. When I was in class three, I was pretty sure I was going to be all three. I had it all figured out. I had fly as a job, run as an athlete, just for the heck of it, and preach just to spread the word. Then, a little later on, I learned I could sing in front of a crowd, so I lost myself in notes and falsettos. Gravity did not know me till the day it did. As my voice broke, dustly clipped from my wings, I came tumbling down. Nowadays, I still sing. The crowd is my shower head. With the stereo on full blast, sometimes I lose myself. Others, I'm just thinking out loud. But most times, I just feel lost. I once opened up to a girl of this. She told me, Whenever you feel lost, just know that you are here. <laughs> we don't talk anymore. I can't remember the last time I went to church. It's, it's not like I don't pray. I do. It's just that um, sometimes it feels like my prayers are letters that were torn to shreds then cast to the wind. They're probably stranded somewhere. What if hugs could heal the world? Would you wrap your arms around my back? I promise not to let go if you smell like lilac or vanilla or petrica or just you. And what if you could rule the world? Me? I trade in that yardstick for an eraser. Rub out those lines that separate us, let the colors mix and match, be a mismatch, mesh and mold a brand new world. The third floor is no longer my limit, but I still have an irrational fear of heights. Or is it death? Where do souls go when they die? 
I like to believe they take to the skies, stars, looking down on us, not condescendingly, but rather after us. How easily death comes for us all. Stop. Give way to oncoming traffic. Stop. Give it to an oncoming stranger. Stop. Why the hurry? Stop. Stop. Just stop. Take a minute. Take it all in. Live. Breathe. <laughs> Smile. Stop. It seems like all I do nowadays is rush. The past won't let up. The present never future, so I'm caught in this loop like an endless slap. To cease this cycle, I prowl crowded spaces, seeking solace in strangers' faces, hoping one of them would cry out, save me, so I can swoop in. But we weren't meant to be caped crusaders hiding behind po pointy cowls and retractable claws. It's our flaws that pushed us to the edge. We had to learn how to fly. The painful goodbyes could be born no more, and so we said no. No to just love, for it just is, never does. Underpants over tights, we sought out a different brand of justice. Sometimes, I feel lost. Like the S in debris, adding nothing to the shambles I'm already part of. Maybe hugs can heal the world. I don't know. Why don't you go and find out? Goodness. Whoa, just stop. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Um, brief, brief, um, something brief about yourselves and what inspires the writings that you do. Uh, they're very calm. So far. <laughs> <laughs> very calm and almost... I felt like I wanted to get into meditation when you guys were talking about the pieces and I was like, whoa, yeah. we need to actually stop. We are always running and we don't, we don't take time to take it all in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, which, is, which is sad <laughs> because we miss moments when we do that. Um, maybe we're going to start with you, Ivan. Maybe you can tell us something small about the things that inspire you to write and uh, maybe your journey into our spoken word as an artist. Uh, okay, so um, what inspires me to write? I usually have different themes. Uh, mostly, there are four main ones. There's love, life, dreams, and death. Um, I write from experience, mostly. But I'm trying to be a storyteller and write fiction and perform it as well. Uh, I've been writing poetry since I was 11, but not consistent consistently until maybe in my 20s okay and so I've been performing spoken word for over four over four years now wow. yeah since Great. 2014 yeah dreams love life death <laughs> <laughs> sorry that, that that sounds no it's it's a good <laughs> thing at least you know where you're based that's where yeah that's what you um uh, it speaks to you. Yeah. It comes naturally when you focus on, on those themes. Mm -hmm. You're okay. Uh, as for me, I, I don't have like set themes. I have like periods of, of inspiration. So there's a time I was caught up in just writing love, uh, love pieces. And then at the moment I'm writing about the general human condition and the studies myself and my surroundings. So. That's, that's what's happening now. Yeah, and what's happening to me and mm -hmm. to see the people I know, the people who are like at the uh, my same same age group. Is it drawn from around. yourself? Is yes. it yes, like it is. Like when you were writing about love. <laughs> see, <I> just <laughs> 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 like when you were writing about that, is it yeah. something that you were going through at that point? Was yeah. it the happy love or just, you know, my God, love? W uh, with the love phase, like it's... It, it, it was like a graph. It, okay. it, it went up and down, but like for the longest time, it was just down. <laughs> 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 Until I stopped writing. <laughs> I was like, you know what, it's okay. Yeah, I get the point. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about life now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Great stuff. And your journey as an artist. Um, I've been writing poetry since high school when I like came, came across some books. Or so a friend was rewriting poetry in his notebooks, but he was passing them off as his, his own words. But like it wasn't like around a group of people. I just came across it, asked, 
and he told me he he's the one who wrote them down so I, w- I got quite intrigued by the by the notion that someone someone who is like me can actually sit down and write poetry yeah. so I started writing poetry in high school d- around 2008 then when I went to university I met some spoken word artists okay and that really drew me in so at around uh 2012 that's when I started with the spoken word on and off I perform on and off I don't have like I'm not in the not in it, in yeah, it but yeah. you're in it. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Yeah, yes. uh, social media uh, platforms and if you have a gig that's coming up, something we need to know about and follow you up, where can you get your pieces? Do we record them? Do we have videos? What's going on, Ivan? Okay, so um, social media handles, they're all the same. Uh, Ivan Irakoze. Um, and uh, also uh, about shows, um, I work as part of an uh, organization called Ink Overflow, which is this. Uh, Ink Overflow. Yeah, mm-hmm. and we do two things. We do um, shows where we have uh, spoken word artists and musicians come perform, uh, ge- generally around a theme. Sometimes it's just, just a show for a headlining act. Uh, and the other thing is we try to um, hold clubs and workshops for kids, uh, creative writing ones okay. um, in different schools. Uh, right now we're looking at homeschooled also. Good. And um, yeah, that's about it. Where to find my work? I have a blog. Uh, it's on WordPress. So it's uh, Musée du Vent. Uh, mm-hmm. It's uh, M-U-S-E-E-D-I-V-A-N dot WordPress dot com. Uh, it's Musée du Vent because part it's partly in French as well. Okay. And uh, I think that answers That's all it? the questions. Yeah, it does. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It actually does. Uh, for me, I don't have a lot of things online. Mm-hmm. Just uh, you can check on YouTube. A few I have about like four, three pieces that that I performed at his gig. Uh, they are under X E C K S. It's the name I used to use, like f- on stage, but okay. I decided against it. Uh, uh, social media. I'm just on Twitter at Irauka I R A U K A. Okay. Yeah. Great stuff. Thank you guys for coming through. Uh, do we have really short pieces? Like really short. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we can try and make it. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Fine. So one super fast round. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Cool. All right, so as I said, uh, I write in two languages, which are French and English. And so here goes one where I'll translate the, the other part in English. So it's called One Day. Um, et si un jour je réalise que ce n'était qu'un rêve, que c'est tout ce que ça pourrait être. Si un jour je lâche, j'espère que tu comprendras que j'aurais tout tenté, que j'aurais fait de mon mieux, que la vie et ses obstacles m'ont vaincu et que je n'aurai plus de force pour me relever. Mais si un jour ma vie connaît sa fin avant son heure, si un jour mon cœur cesse de battre, j'espère que mes mots résonneront toujours avec toi, que mon âme demeurera vive dans ton cœur et que tu raconteras mon histoire. J'espère ne jamais voir le premier de ces jours et retarder le second. Mais si jamais cela m'arrive, sache, bordel, que j'ai vécu, que je n'ai pas fait qu'être en vie, mais que j'ai vécu ma vie ma manière, que j'ai rêvé, que j'ai aimé, aimé mes proches et que j'ai connu l'amour de quelques bonnes femmes. Sache que j'ai vécu avec des principes, que la plupart des fois j'ai préféré courir après les anges plutôt que prendre mes démons pour guide. Sache que celle-ci fut ma définition d'une vie. Rêve, amour et bonheur. And now the English version. Um, and if one day I realized it was all just a dream, that that's all it could ever be. If one day I give up, I hope you'll know that I'll have given it my all, that I'll have done my best, that life and all its obstacles would have won, and I wouldn't have any strength to get back up. If one day I should pass before my time, if one day my heart ceases to beat, I hope my words will resonate within you, that my soul will live on in your heart, and that you'll tell my story. I hope to never see the first of these days and delay the second, but if ever that should happen, 
know damn it that I lived that I wasn't just alive but I lived my life my own way that I dreamt that I loved loved those close to me and knew the love of a few good women know that I chose to live with morals that most times I chose to run after the angels rather than follow my demons lead know that this was my definition of a life dreams love and happiness maybe in a world where the stars are jealous of the shine in our eyes we had a chance here i'm not into hip-hop i'm into trance and when the beat drops i let loose and dance like a man possessed because i don't give a damn i sell them like in pretty woman that's how we'd hook up but we'll call ours pretty ugly man as you'll be drawn to me like a fly is to a heap of garbage and you'll seem drawn to me like the perfectly sketched image too good to be true so i'll pierce myself through and through just to make sure i'm not dreaming a pinch or two is simply not enough to confirm this feeling maybe i'll trade in my pen for a bunch of black and white keys turn the sticky notes of you on my mind's wall into shit music then use it to draw you closer to my grasp and stick the past cocoon it in a melody then set it free we won't need our tongues with bare feet we'll taste the earth hand in hand we'll clutch love and sway to these notes of you that these slender fingers will play maybe i'll jump from the top of the burj khalifa and in the fall accelerate to a speed that will shatter the time space continuum back to a second before it all went wrong and you slip through my fingers i let thoughts of i don't need you linger my pride had taken hold my hands went cold and so you let go maybe we weren't just meant to be ripples doomed by destiny to disintegrate at our mere touch we were a dandelion's head said to be blown away by the slightest wind to the four corners of the earth faded fated to just fight for love i still hold the scars a prisoner of war you broke me from time to time they bleed like open wounds from time to time the ptsd kicks in and i find myself on my knees clutching at my chest shards of my broken heart are still stuck to my soul and it bleeds you took my breath away turned me to an asthmatic your memories though locked away in my mind's attic slowly slowly seep out and trigger the shortness of breath i choke up get lost in the depths of what used to be casting not just letting you live with it all and leave me heartless it it would all now just hurt less maybe i'm just overthinking it's my paranoia talking but you aren't here to stop me so i'll seek so listen what may be much thank you thank you so so much that is Iroka and Ivan Asantini Sana. Frank. Yes. Looks like you're doing a great job. It looks really good. We're almost there. Sure. Can we show them? Can we show them where we are at? There we are. Pretty close to the end. Social media handles again, Frank. Um, Frank at Sketches. Both on Instagram and Twitter. Great stuff. Yeah. Anywhere people can, uh, uh, do you have a showing coming up, an exhibition coming up? Um, um, maybe your gallery, if you have any pieces that you're selling and now people can get them. Do um, you do random ones? like? Sure. If mm -hmm. anyone wants any art, they are right on my page. Okay. But feel free to order any art. But for now, I don't have anything to sell. Great Except stuff. But you can get commissions. Is there a number? Sure. I'm a... What what can get you to social media? Yeah, on my page, you have my email account. You can just click there and you can feel free. You can always talk about commissions. Great stuff. Yeah. Okay. Final words to people who are coming up. Are you mentoring anyone, Frank, um, into this amazing sure. journey of EAT Con? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I have Jude. Jude is my best friend. We grew together and I'm still. Okay. Yeah, I'm still mentoring. Asante Sana. Yeah. You've been amazing. Sure. Definitely, I'll come see. See you talking to Kwapa at after show. Yeah. Look at the way I'm already <laughs> 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 trying to uh, talk Frank into uh, letting me see the picture, even after the show is over. We are coming to the end of the show, and I see uh, Tazama is here.
Nimeamua kusimama. Nimeamua kusimama. <laughs> Great. Asante ni sana kwa ku come through. Shukran. Asante Shukran. sana Frank. Thank you so much Bush and Dante and Dante God bless you for what you're doing and of course Asante sana for tuning into the show. Thank you Ivan, thank you Irauka and uh, you know keep these conversations coming in. like I say every single Tuesday, Thursday, Friday you want to be on the show all you need to do is write to us share with us what it is that you want to share with the world and then we'll give you the platform and all how you can do that is write to us life and style at standardmedia.co.ke from me to you have an amazing amazing day don't you think you're sure isn't great stuff Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah World River. Life in Southern, older than the trees, younger than the mountain, growing like a breeze. Country road, take me home to the place I belong. All my memories gather on down. My last lady, stranger to blue water. Dark and dusty, painted on the sky. Misty test of moonshine, tear drop in my eyes. Country road, take me home to the place. Take me home.